We're glad to know you're still there and watching The Breakfast. We're, we're happy uh, that uh, we're talking climate change now. Maybe uh, you've not even talked about it in your locality, wherever you are, because it's in the change we do in our private corners that it will translate to something big for us as a country, uh, Nigeria. We're continuing with climate change. Now we're looking at the impact on the economy. We talked a little bit about that when we were talking with Frank Elena. But now we're being joined by uh, the acting director of technical programs of the Nigerian Conservation Foundation in the person of uh, Adedayo Memudu. Good morning and welcome to the program, Adedayo. Hello, Adedayo. Adedayo can you hear me? Okay. okay. So now. Yes. Yes. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. We we were talking earlier with someone uh, about these uh, policies of government that have affected uh, or making harder, making it harder for companies to thrive. Policies on uh, climate change. Right now, we, we intend to look at the economy, how it affects the economy. Uh, all that. But let's begin with uh, where your forte is um, conservation in Nigeria. How have we fared so far? Uh, thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be on this show uh, this morning to see our thoughts and views on the happenings in the field of uh, conservation world. And in terms of conservation, I can say I will rank Nigeria very, I would score very high because we have the next key uh, institutional, legal, and policy frameworks to make it happen. And uh, Nigeria has been a major signatory, a major signatory at uh, a lot of uh, global conventions, particularly that are targeted at enhancing biodiversity conservation and sustainable natural resource management to enhance the benefits to humanity and the planet Earth. Even though we all agree we are on the right track and uh, there are rooms for improvement, but then we have the next three frameworks to deal with the issue of biodiversity conservation. And at the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, we have spotted the gaps that government alone cannot do it. That is why, as the foremost, as the foremost non-governmental organization dedicated to sustainable natural resource management and uh, uh, biodiversity conservation issues in Nigeria and beyond. We have tried to collaborate with government and to foster a lasting relationship to enhance how we manage our natural resources and uh, project Nigeria on the world conservation map. Thank you. Tell us more about how you go about your activities. L let's have some clarity on how you go about your conservation activities. Okay, uh, we have a strategic action plan that underpins our operations. First and foremost, we have a vision of a Nigeria where uh, we not only uh, live well, but we equally prosper while living in harmony with nature. And uh, this vision is driven by three mission statements, which is firstly to conserve the full range of Nigeria's biodiversity and to uh, promote actions that encourage sustainable uh, natural resource management for the benefit of present and uh, future generations of Nigeria, and also to advocate for actions that enhance waste management, that enhance reduction of pollution, and that enhance uh, what we can call how we adapt and mitigate the impacts of the climate change that is now threatening our very existence. And then we do this by having through our four strategic pillars that we draw to actually uh, drive our processes and programs, one of which is a species program. We realize that um, nearly about one billion species are on the fact of being lost forever. And uh, we have uh, come up with a species program that will help us uh, preserve some of these uh, species in Peri. Second one is our space program, that is Habitat. We have come up with a 30-year intervention program, which is Christian Green Recovery Nigeria. You would all agree that uh, Nigeria's forest, uh, forest cover is now uh, much less than 10%. And uh, unlike what it was during independence, when we had more than 40% of the total landmass of the country under forest cover. 
So we have come up with this to actually uh, roll out our programs, uh, collaborate and partner with uh, like minds to drive this process forward so that we can consciously return and gradually uh, our Nigeria forest cover to at least 25% in the next 30 years as admonished by the Food and Agriculture Organization. Also, the third pillar program is the climate uh, action. We have a program that is targeted at mobilizing people, mobilizing policies, and enhancing our participation positively to uh, enhance how we rise to the challenges posed by the climate crisis. And also, the last one is uh, forging uh, constructive Okay, I, I get you, Ms. Ayadele, but let me ask you two questions, just so that everyone listening no, 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 would... Yes. We realize we can't do it. We realize we can't do it. Hello? Yes. The, uh, the last pillar of our strategic uh, programs is partnerships. We reach out to like minds. We form strategic alliances, partnerships, and collaborate with the government, uh, ministries, department agencies, corporate world, uh, uh, civil society organizations, and the general public indeed, at large. Indeed, thank you. In our coalition yes, thank you so much, Mr. Adebayo. Yes. To deliver a better and sustainable environment for the benefit of humans. Thank large. you so much for giving us that clarity because it, it is important to understand fully what you do, but time will not allow us uh, to go deeper into that. But I would love for us to um, to answer these two questions so that those who are watching us, this information you're really out will not be lost on them. One, by what you're saying, have, have we reduced the rate of at which we fell trees in the country? Are we planting more trees? And two, since you talked about waste management, how, how are we faring with regards to recycling? How enlightened are Nigerians about it? And how, 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 what are the mechanisms? Are we recycling here? our wastes? Can, I can't hear you. Can't anymore. hear you. Uh, Thanks to okay. with our partners. We approach this in two ways. One is to encourage afforestation, that is tree planting, massive tree planting activities across the country, and also to encourage natural regeneration. We look at um, uh, certainly more of uh, natural regeneration because that is the ability of the forest resource to actually recover on its own. But in terms of tree planting, on our home, last year at NCF, we planted more than uh, 2 million indigenous species of uh, uh, plant, uh, tree and uh, economic uh, trees last year. And uh, this year, we have the plan, we have started already to surpass this mark of 2 million and also to encourage our partners and uh, promote, support them to actually do more because on our own. Just like I said earlier, we can't do it on our own. We have to mobilize, encourage others to equally join in tree planting activities and as well setting aside uh, sizable portions of degraded landscapes for regeneration activities. And in terms of um, uh, waste management, we are encouraging. You know, this year's team for the celebration of World Environment Day is targeted at uh, beating uh, or rolling back uh, many of plastic pollution. And uh, we are encouraging, we are uh, engaging with uh, private individuals, corporate entities to uh, invest more in upcycling, that is, conversion of these plastics into other usable items and products, into uh, recycling as well. We now have many uh, recycling uh, uh, companies coming up, which is now an income spinning opportunity for Nigerians if we are looking at uh, sustainably uh, bringing down the level of unemployment in the country, we encourage people to go that. And also to encourage uh, the production companies on the uh, production of uh, not multiple use plastics so that when people use their plastics, it's not just one of them, uh, they, they throw it into the, into the dustbins. Particularly our solid wastes, where do they end up to? We encourage people, we step up our, our, our awareness and sensitization programs to encourage people on the way we need to manage and sustainably reduce our waste impact. And that is why uh, we have a policy that is targeted at reducing our waste from paper 
to what we use at home, and also to minimize unnecessary uh, waste air collection across the landscape. So we are on the right track, and although the awareness is very low, that is why we are reaching out to people, engaging more with stakeholders on the need to turn most of this waste to wealth and equally to see the enormous economic opportunities that happen there. So that if we are talking about restiveness, unemployment, the best way to go about that is to encourage people into more of nature-friendly and uh, uh, activities. And uh, we are on the path towards circular economy, whereby we bring up uh, back our waste and convert them to useful products and uh, enhance green economy at all spheres of our life. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, we, <laughs> Mr. Adev, Adeda, your memudo. Um, I'm glad that you rated the government high when it comes to uh, fighting uh, these uh, menace of the climate change and all that. And when we know that, because we know that you are of the conservative society, um, I was going to ask you to explain to us the parameters you use to measure uh, that ratings that you give to them, but there's no time anymore. Uh, but I'd like to point to you in case you do not know that um, we had one of the big, biggest forests here in Nigeria around Boki local government in Cross River State. And the world was talking about it because there were few um, forests like that left in the world. And in fact, we have the uh, Cross River gorillas that are the only ones in the world. They are about like 250 uh, right now and they don't exist anywhere else. But right now that we're talking, as we talk right now, the um, forest is going because of illegal logging and all that. We've also seen videos of places like Yankari Game Reserve, because when you talk conservation, you talk about plants, you talk about animals. We've seen uh, animals in places like Yankari uh, going very hungry. Uh, some of them, like lions, are eating grasses now because it can't find meat to eat. Uh, uh, animals in the zoo are going hungry. And when we talk conservation and these things are not put into uh, perspective, maybe we will miss the mark. But since you have scored the government high, we do hope that things are being put in place that we are not seeing right now, and positives will be yielding from these things that they are putting in place. But this is where we will have to wrap up. Uh, you can't answer those questions now, but we hope that there will be another opportunity, another time, to answer the questions. We'd like to thank you for being a part of our show this morning. My pleasure to join you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we were talking with Mr. Adedayo Memudu, uh, Acting Director, Technical Program, NCF. NCF means Nigerian Conservation Foundation. And we'll take a short break, and when we return, we'll be talking sports. Stay with us. <laughs>